All right, guys, let's jump down and let's start messing with something called regular expression. Okay, so how many of you guys have heard of a regex? Here's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to whip out a credit card. No, I'm not kidding. Take out a credit card. Physically take the card out for what we're about to do right now. Okay, now, based on this link that I gave you, 5147 is the first four numbers. Can anybody tell me what kind of card is it? Good, it's a MasterCard. Okay, all right. If you come down to the center of the page, you see that he tells you MasterCard numbers either start with the numbers 51 through 55, and it says, or it can be the numbers 2221 through 2720. And all MasterCard numbers have 16 digits. So here's the first thing that you're going to learn about reading a regular expression. The symbol on the left, the caret, is the beginning. The dollar sign on the right, that's the end. This is the beginning. This dollar sign is the end. So what you're saying is Visa card numbers start with a four. So he's saying, hey man, the beginning of the num the beginning of the MasterCard is going to have a four. That's what that caret means. Okay. And now he's saying, look, the end of the MasterCard, the end dollar sign can be any number. Right? Any number. So it's going to be a four. And then it's going to be some numbers from 0 to 9, but it's going to be 12 of them. Now, it can also be 0 to 9, but it's 3 of them. It can also be 3 more numbers ranging from 0 to 9. So in the squigglies tells you how many numbers it can be. In the brackets tells you what I'm looking for. So... What he's saying is all Visa card numbers start with a four. New card numbers have 16 digits. Old card numbers have 13 digits. That's why, that's why you see it this way. First numbers are four. The next 12 numbers are zero to nine. That's 13 digits. Now I can add an additional three numbers. Three plus 13 will make me equal 16 numbers in total. All right, so the next one I'll do is I'll do SSN regex. And then there's a really good link to a guy asking a question on Stack Overflow. Okay, so he wants help with social security numbers. Now currently the regex that he's using starts with three digits followed by a dash. Then it has two digits followed by a dash. Then it ends with four digits because the dollar sign means the end. That sounds like a social security number. Later on, somebody else tells him, hey man, if I were you, he says, I would actually use this one. So it starts with, then you got something in parentheses here. So parentheses, any number, but you've got an exclamation point, but it means not. So we're making sure at the beginning there's not three zeros, and then the pipe means or, so not 666, and then same thing, or not a nine, but it's still three digits followed by a dash. Then you've got not two digits, not zero, zero, but it's still two digits followed by a dash. And then it's not four zeros, but it's still four digits. Why is the guy telling him, hey man, you should probably use this? So this way we shouldn't have numbers that aren't valid social security numbers, right? So valid social security numbers, there will never be an all zeros social security number. A lot of people have concerns about um, triple six, right, for religious purposes, and none of the security, social security numbers are going to start with a nine. So 
it's actually a pretty good thing to, to look for. Now, you guys are noticing that I'm just Googling for regular expressions. They're out there. So SWIFT codes, BICs, bank identifiers, right? Valid social security numbers, phone numbers, right? You can look up regexes for pretty much anything. So you can put up whatever you want and then the word regex. So I always get people who are so afraid of regex. Like you can do Apache log file regex. They're out there. They're out there, guys. They're out there. I don't want you to be so worried about regexes. People see all this nasty tic-tac-toe stuff, and they get so scared, right? They see this kind of stuff, and they go, oh, my God. I don't know if I can handle it. How many of you guys have seen really nasty regexes like that and thought to yourself, man, I could, ugh, what the heck is that? So now, if you start looking at it, you can start going, okay, hold on. The caret means the beginning. The dollar sign means the end. A B is a word boundary, right? So it usually looks like a word. The D is a digit, escape, right? When you see the asterisk, that's a wild card. When you see a plus, that's still basically a wild card, but it's for more than one letter, and the question mark is for one letter. I don't want you guys to be so afraid of regexes. Let's go through some. Let's go through some. 